The search index that is the result of all of the crawling and processing that big search engines do is one of the more mission critical and one of the more important user facing pieces of a search engine. When you run a search on Bing or Google or Yahoo, the search index is used every time. And so the way that the search index is distributed across multiple machines is really important. So first of all, the search indexes are huge. They're way too big to fit on one machine or at least too big for one machine to search them and to use them effectively. The second thing is, again, the search indexes are being used all the time. So every time you issue a query, the search index is used at least once, if not multiple times, to take the query uh, you know, keywords, break them apart, search for them in different ways, and assemble the results back together. Happily, distributing search index is not terribly difficult. So imagine I have an index, and the index terms are animals. So I've got cats, and I've got dogs, and I've got, I don't know, kittens. I mean, obviously kittens is its own thing, and puppies. Uh, we're gonna stick with the pet theme. So the simplest way to do this is to say I've got, you know, let's say I take four machines, and I say, um, I say, this machine is responsible for answering all the queries about cats. It maintains the cats entry in the index. Um, this machine is responsible for all the queries about dogs. Actually, let's just use two machines to show a little bit more about how this would work. So I would break the index up into two parts. I would say that the top machine response for index is responsible for the index for cats and dogs. The bottom machine is responsible for the index for kittens and puppies. Now, another way, so this is in this idea of breaking up the index into different pieces. Uh, sometimes you could refer to those as shards. So I take one index and I divide the index across multiple machines so that each machine is responsible for only one part of the index. But that's not the only way that I can increase the performance of the index because I can also distribute the same part of the index to even more machines. So now I take this part of the index and I distribute it not only to this guy, but to this machine, or maybe to another machine. And as I add machines that are all serving the same part of the index, you might ask, well, why am I doing this? The reason is if a bunch of queries come in all at the same time that are looking, that need to access the index for cats, rather than sending them all to one machine, I now have three different machines and I could distribute them over. Same thing if a bunch of queries come in for kittens and puppies and things like that. Now, if I search for cats and kittens or things like this, I might need to access multiple machines in order to do this. So a query that looks for cats and puppies might have to touch this machine and then also include results from this machine before those results are actually merged together and sent back to the user. But this is a critical way of how a search is made really fast. And if you look at how big search providers architect their systems, when you issue a single search query, that search query is probably touching multiple, if not dozens, of different computers on its way out of the data center. And the reason for this, again, is that this part is very, very latency sensitive. So the crawling and the processing and stuff like that, I mean, that's going on all the time. Google is constantly finding new websites and rebuilding its index. But that part, you know, if Google stopped updating its index for a day, I'm not even sure very many people would notice. Some people would, but maybe not everybody would. But if the search part, if the part where you went to the browser and you typed something and hit return and suddenly it took two or three seconds or 20 seconds to return an answer, if that part gets slow, everybody notices. And so there's been a lot of engineering that goes into this simple question of how do I distribute search and indexes effectively in order to make sure the search is fast.